What's up, my LS Crazy Amigas? It's your boy Terry speaking from the garage shop once again. Mm. Here to offer some more Big Bang for the Buck product and info. As you guys know, I pretty much finished the 71 Chevelle LSA Supercharger project. But what we're going to do today is I got a Trailblazer SS. We all know that, you know, because I love that truck. And it got over 100,000 miles on it, and it's starting to show some signs of where you got to start taking care of some stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the Trailblazer in, and then we're going to talk. All right? Come with me. This is my 2006 Trailblazer SS, and I love this vehicle. And it has over 100,000 miles on it, and it's, time, and it's showing some signs of, of that. So I got up under the car, control arm bushings, it's time to do those, and um, the, the end links. So I figured, why stop there? So what I'm going to do is, because if you remember in one of my other videos, I said that I'm going to set this trailblaze up. We're doing a whole suspension. We're doing rear suspension, pan hard bar, lowering it, getting rid of the airbags, doing the front suspension, tie rods, end links, control arms, upper control arms, uh, sway bar bushings. We're going to get a big sway bar in the back as well, and also a pan hard bar. And um, so we're going to try to get the, we're going to get the integrity back of the car, the steering integrity back, but we're also going to upgrade the parts. So remember, I said that we're going to do this for a reason. One, because again, I love the truck. Two, this project may have something to do with you guys. We're going to tie you guys into this and, you know, because Terry's always got something up his sleeve. So I'm, I'm working on something which may have you guys involved. So what we're going to do is, like I said, we're going to refresh it. We're going to even get bigger wheels in the back. We're going to get the replicas. Uh, I want to give a big shout out to my man Tony at TBSS Owners because he's the one. He's my go-to guy when it comes to these trailblazers because there's nothing he doesn't know about these. Let me see if I got that right. He knows everything about these trucks. So if I have a question, I go to him. And most of the parts are coming from him. So um, let's get started. Let's get started. Okay, so I got the wheels up in the air, and so we're gonna do a couple of, we're gonna do some testing, okay? So let's test out and see what's going on here, okay? Now, no bueno. See, that's, that's no good. That could be a number of things, but I'm gonna bet that that's probably the inner tie rod. Right, let's move this so you can see the inner tie rod. You see that inner tie rod right there? First of all, the boot is gone, so pff, that's what's up. But now check this out. You see moving back and forth in there? That's no good. A lot of people think you have to change the whole rack, but you don't. All you gotta do is change this in the tie rod. See, that shouldn't be looking like that. That's uh, <laughs> no bueno. All right, so we're gonna change this, but you gotta have a special tool to, to get to this thing. So I'm gonna show you what I got. To change the inner tie rod, you gotta remove the boot, and you gotta remove the safety plastic thing, and then you're gonna see the inner tie rod. And what you're gonna have to do is you can use this. You can try to use this. But the way the tie rod is positioned, sometimes it's tight in there. So the, the option that I'm going with is this tool right here. Okay, and it has a series of crow's feet. This is a crow's foot that you put over. Let's see if this is the right one. Yeah, it is. That you put over the inner tie rod. And then you put this and the inner tie rod in. And then you have a provisioning for an impact gun or either... A breaker bar you know now you'll probably use this thing maybe like once or twice in your life but then you know if you're on a budget you know you got a whole bunch of buddies that have envoys and trailblazers everyone buck up five bucks and get one because they only like 30 something dollars at harbor freight i love the freight and i don't understand why y'all guys are hating on the freight i saw what i saw the, the the comments on you know that picture that i took in front of harbor freight you know like praising harbor freight i saw the hateful comments why do y'all hate the freight don't hate the freight the tools are good. And besides, like their competitors, I don't feel like mortgage in my house to get an impact gun. Love the freight. Now this crow's foot goes on it just like this. And then this goes over the crow's foot. You put the inner tie rod in over. And 
I gotta put the camera down so so you can see. I had to heat it up a little bit, but I got the inner tie rod out. You see, that's the rack. Cleaned it up a little, and we're getting ready to install the new inner tie rod. Let me show you guys something. Okay, here's the new tie rod, inner tie rod. You can't move this. You know, like I like to think of myself as a pretty strong guy, but I can't move this thing. Okay, all right. Now, like I said, I had to put a little heat on the inner tie rod, the old one. But you saw it in the video earlier where when I moved the tire, it was loose. But now look at this. This is the inner tie rod. It's still hot. Woo. Okay. So this part isn't. So look at it. Look at this. Moves up and down. You know, move it in, move it out. Turn it in, shove it out. Disco lady. Look at this. It moves. All right. So no bueno. Little Loctite. Install it right back. Now, you guys know how the song goes. I don't see nothing wrong with a little Loctite. I don't see nothing wrong. Bolt it down and talk them right. Yeah. Love that song. Love that song. I don't know why it's not number one. Install. Now it's got to talk it down. For me, I'd rather use a zip tie. So much easier. You can tighten down. Snip. Snip. All right, we're gonna replace the tie rod because this one's pretty good. It just needs to have the boot replaced because I did it a couple months back. So I got a new boot. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little anti seize on the threads because, uh, this has a jam nut on it, so it's gonna tie down anyway. So I don't have to worry about that backing off. So I'm just gonna throw a little anti-seize on it. So if ever I have to take this thing off, and I'm sure I will, it won't be anything to take off. So let me just brush a little bit. There we go. Now, if y'all remember correctly, I think it was 10. It was 10 revolutions to get this thing off so now remember, when you do work like this, you have to get the car real. You have to go to get alignment. You have to take it to get alignment after you finish. But me doing this is going to allow me to drive it to get alignment. So after I finish, straight to the alignment shop, take care of that. All right. As you can see, inner tie rod is back in. Ah, tight. You got the boot, new boot. The outer tie rod is back in. Torque down to 42 foot pounds of torque. And a tie rod, tight the way it should be. As you see, I got the boot, everything torqued down, looking good. But for now, I'm gonna address the upper control arm a little later on, but I gave me something to eat now, I'm a little starving. All right, so as always, please be easy, and I'll catch you guys real soon. Take care. Tight!